G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Uh, some of you may know one of my dogs was killed by a snake not long ago and I, yeah, I, I did a painting but I'm not that happy with it. I think I will be putting that up but I thought that I'd like to do another one, um, more a flowery type one. The last one was a traveling ring paw but yeah I wasn't that happy with it in the end but I thought maybe some flowers might be nice to remember my sweet dog by she's was a Labrador retriever that's a to be Labrador um, and yeah she's such a sweetheart she's always been yeah just such a darling dog and she's the mother of a couple of my dogs I've got now, three in fact, and she's the grandmother of the puppy that you might have seen pictures of in some of my other videos. Anyway, yeah, I miss her heaps. It was very, very awful. And anyway, so I'm going to be doing a swipe. Now, I've only ever once done a swipe before and that was to do a wave and I was quite happy how that turned out but that was a few months ago and the best way I gather to do a swipe is to use silicon and I haven't been using silicon since well when I very first started I was using some silicon oil uh, but yeah sort of decided that you get enough cells with the flow troll with the sort of paintings I've been doing but yeah, for a swipe, I believe you do need the silicon. So I've got I've got the WD-40 silicon oil, which I've sprayed well, ages ago, months ago. This was sprayed into here, and there's a little toothpick thingy, so I can get my drops with that. So I've got a variety of colours, as you can see going to be done on a 12 inch by 24 inch which is 30 centimeters by 60 centimeter canvas and I don't know if I might not have enough here in which case I will have to make up some more colors but a lot of these were pre-made up some I've made up especially um, yeah, a lot of them I really don't know what the colors were because they were made up so long ago and weren't labeled this one I just made up, that's uh, Eraldo Orange. This is Eraldo Light Green. This is Eraldo uh, Deep Green, I think it's called. And yeah, that's a mixture. This is Eraldo Warm. What was that? Hang on. Warm Red. And this is um, warm yellow. And I've, one of these is global yellow because I had that already made up. And the other one I made up with Eraldo, that is with cool yellow, both of those. Uh, there's some, some in here, maybe it's, no, I think this one's the cool blue Eraldo. Um, this one is Eraldo Metallic Lavender. This one is a mixture. Yeah, a lot of these, like when I've gathered up the paint that's been poured off, is a result of that, such as this one, which was when I was doing um, the red, black and gold series of paintings. Uh, this is a paint that I scooped up. It's made a gorgeous, deep metallic. This one, what was this one? This one had a, oh, this was a Liquitex Basics one. Um, that's all it was written on it, LB. So, <laughs> um, and this is a mixture of golds, mixture of greens, yeah, anyway. Oh, this is Winsor Newton Crimson. 
and this is Winsor and Newton. What is it? Silo green. And yeah, this is a variety of reds. Anyway, I just wanted to have a scattering of colour. The idea is I want to have some greenery, mainly greenery down the bottom and with a heap of colours at the top for flowers. The white I've made... What's that? One of my dogs. Uh, the white I've made is uh, British paint, has paint. I've put in a little bit of blue colouring into here just to give it a slight blue colour because I thought, well, top bit's going to be maybe the sky. So even though the white shows up the colours, so you can barely see it's got blue in it, but when you really check it out, you can see it does. Um, I'd have to thin that down a bit because I've heard that the white needs to be a little bit thinner than the others. This is just Floetrol. Um, and I'll be adding a tiny bit of silicon oil to each of the colours but not to the white. And I don't want it too thin either. All right, so I'll add the oil in. You probably don't want to see me doing this. It's hard with this little toothpick. <laughs> tiny little drops, if they'll ever drop off the thing. One, maybe two of those tiny weeny drops. I don't know if that will be enough for such They're very small drops. Anyway, I'll bring you back in in a minute when I've put all the silicon in. I'm sure you don't want to watch me doing all that. Okay, so I've added the silicon oil to all of the paints. Not sure if it's too much. Probably not too little. I added one or two tight like they're nearly thin drops, not like out of a big dropper. Anyway, we shall see. Um, Yes, I know it doesn't turn out like you put it on the canvas, but I really want greens, more greens down the bottom and more colours at the top. I don't know if I've mixed up enough paint. I might have to go back and mix more paint up. Anyway, I'll probably just Fast forward you through this a little bit because otherwise it will be quite long and tedious for you. So sit back and watch as the colours are put down.
battery ran out so I had to recharge it and I just just did a few this color this um, metallic bronzy brown color just did a few lines here finished off a few bits of yellow got a bit of green I need to hurry up because the whole lot's going to start setting up in a minute all right so here's I haven't left very much room for it, have I? Hopefully that's the right consistency. All right. Just take that out. I don't know if you can hear the dog snoring. Now I've got this microphone in. I don't know if this one's snoring very loudly. All right. plastic all right here goes now Julie cut says put one foot in front of the other so you don't have to stop halfway through to shuffle your feet thank you Julie make sure that's well in contact with the white and then pull down all in one go. And I don't know if that was so good. All right, just turn it over. All right, I'm not happy with this and that, so I've got to find something to do that with. Luckily, I hung on to one of those. Not much white there. I don't like it.
too thick. Okay, well, I'm not happy with it <clears throat> at all. So I'm going to swipe it again. Actually, I might water this down a bit more with some more flow troll. I think maybe the white is too thick, or the light blue rather. night time <clears throat> dogs are snoring but it also means there's lots of insects even though there's fly screens they still manage to get in so i have to hurry up I think I'll purposefully give it a bit of a wobble. <laughs> Started off not purposefully, but decided why not. Overlap it a little bit. Give it a wibble wobble. Sticking or what? Oh, what am I doing? That might not have been a good idea. Well, it's more colourful. It's looking a bit prettier, isn't it? Don't really like that. I can always paint that over. Once it's dry.
Oh, I'm going to take this in the other room so no more insects fall into it. And I'll do the close-ups in there. Okay. So here it is. It's been an hour or so since I brought it in here. I don't think it's going to change anymore. I'll bring you in for some close-ups. It's quite pretty. Little flowers, shall I say, for my Sierra. If you get it in the right angle, you can see the really pretty sparkles. Aren't they pretty? Sorry about the reflection, but that's because I've got the the uh, flash on. Helps the colours to come out better. So yeah, it's quite pretty. Once it's dry, if I varnish it, and that'll help to bring out the sparkles. Helps the metallics to shine again. I'm going to keep this one. Just do a remembrance of my sweet Sierra. There's some quite pretty little cells. I quite like them when they're misshapen. Makes them interesting. Oh wow, look at that cluster there. Sorry, my hand's a bit shaky. And once you look at all the little sparkles in it, it's really pretty. Oh yeah, some pretty little, pretty little colours, pretty flowers. And I'll bring it out. There we are. I'll try and film this. I think I might do to there. Oh, there's all that yellow underneath. <laughs> That's why. Not to do it. So it won't matter if there's a yellow flower in there, will it? I'll put a, I think I'll, I'll paint in a little, like a cell at the top of that blue bit to look like a little flower to match in with the others. I'll hand paint it once it's dry, just to go at the top of that little blue bit. Well, there we go. 
I'm happy with that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button, please, if you've liked it. And I'd love to hear any comments. Okay. Thanks again. And catch you again soon. Bye.